This is the worst slice of pizza I have ever eaten. The worst? That's a bold claim. It can't be. New York City might have some of the best pizza in the world, but today isn't about that. Today is about trying the worst reviewed pizza slices in Manhattan, according to Yelp. I want to know why these places are getting such bad reviews. Is it the service, the cleanliness, or is the food really just that bad? Maybe they're just a victim of the Yelp trolls and the food is actually really good. Wouldn't it be crazy if my new favorite slice of pizza came from my worst slice? Via Italian Kitchen, Riley P says, legit the worst place in NYC, probably in the whole states. Pam J says, coming here was a mistake. Marissa R says, I got food poisoning. I had to deal with being sick for the eight hour long bus ride. Thank God it was a midnight bus and everyone else was sleeping. Please do not eat here. I have never been in so much pain in my life. Is Marissa okay? Can someone give her a call? When I was a kid, I used to make tortilla pizzas for lunch. Really kind of more of a, a, a quesadilla in hindsight. To me, they were delicious. To everyone else, not so much. So I feel like I can maybe relate to these one star pizza spots. Via Italian Kitchen is actually a chain, but this particular location might be familiar to you if you have ever been to New York City. It's located in Times Square on 42nd Street and 8th Avenue. Based on their location, you have to figure that 99 9.9% of their customers are tourists. So to be honest, they don't even need their pizza to be great. People will always come here just for the sake of its convenience and its location. I walked in and ordered a slice of pepperoni and a slice of buffalo chicken. The employees just kind of glanced at me, which I realized was probably because so many people come in who don't speak English that everyone is just kind of defaulted to just gesturing. The pizza it's is fine like it, it i don't know it tastes like frozen pizza like it tastes like DiGiorno's. where's the delivery boy it's not delivery it's DiGiorno. but that's not the real problem here is the real problem here is where these one star reviews are coming from 17 dollars 17 dollars for two slices of pizza and one small fountain drink oh hell no it's not hard to figure out why people are leaving these one star reviews no it didn't make me sick and no it's not the worst in the city that's coming up but yeah no you shouldn't go here the price is crazy a slice of ny stephen a says choose literally anywhere else eric m says avoid this complete ripoff of a pizza place at all costs andrew a says sucks ass cool the first thing I noticed at a slice of NY is that their barbecue pizza has red sauce. Like, we don't put red sauce on our barbecue pizza. What are you doing? So naturally, I ordered a slice and also a pepperoni. The pepperoni was coming fresh out of the oven, so I had high hopes for it. Whereas some of the other slices seemed kind of dry. My two slices without a drink was $13, which is actually a similar price to at Via Italian. It's expensive, too expensive. The pepperoni slice was, was very bland. Like, I can't really describe it other than the the fact that it just it didn't really taste like anything i added some red pepper flakes to give it some life but there's no reviving this it's bland the barbecue uh it kind of grew on me like it was weird but after a few bites i was sort of able to move past the red sauce and i kind of started to enjoy it i mean i ate the whole slice which is a big deal at these places so portuguese sardine this is not a pizza place but you can make any slice of pizza a one star slice of pizza if you add some sardines actually that's not fair i've never tried a sardine maybe i would love them maybe i should have added them to my childhood quesadilla pizzas oh hell no okay i can't lie it, this is a stretch i know but I've, I've been looking for an excuse to show you this place because it it, it, it it makes me laugh newly opened in Times square is portuguese sardine it's just this place where you buy a souvenir sardines in, in little tins from portugal its full name is actually the fantastic world of the Portuguese sardine. And you know, that would make so much sense if we were in Portugal. So you buy tins and, and they have years labeled on them. It's right on the can. And I, I asked the employee and no, that's not the year the sardines were canned. That's just, it just says a year, like uh, like as decoration or, or something. I don't know. I mean, it, it's a very cute store. It does feel like Portugal. It also might go out of business really soon. I don't know. Are people buying these? I'm not sure. That's I, I just I had to show you this I also have to do this if you are enjoying this please like and subscribe your support literally means the world to me I love you so much I heart pizza Tom M says this is a really sad place Jose S says hands down one of the worst pizza I ever had Freddie S says this place has no hope <laughs> Please look at this mural. Like this is, this is in the uncanny valley for sure, right? 
So we're finally outside of Times Square, so the intended clientele might not just be tourists. The prices are even a little bit better too. The people behind the counter were nice, the service was great, and the pizza was coming to me fresh, right out of the oven. I stood in line wondering what the people of Yelp were so angry about. Aside from the creepy mural on the wall, I was excited. I really felt like I had an entirely new experience with this pizza. I have never had pizza that I was honestly as like, as bad as, as this pizza was. Like ever, like ever and ever in my life. I had a, a buffalo slice and a pepperoni slice, and I'm pretty sure I just took two bites out of each before I threw them in the trash. This is actually a slow-mo video of me throwing my soda bottle into the trash. Just pretend it's the pizza. You know how like when you smell something really bad and you, and you want like your friend or your partner to smell it too? That That's this, that's this. I want you to taste this. I feel like it's hard to mess pizza up. And this is the first time I was ever like grossed out by a slice. And here's the mural again. Famous original Ray's. Hey S said, worst pizza ever. Made me sick. Jerry H said, salty, lacking cheese, lacking sauce, tasteless pizza. Nunya B from Allen, Texas says, I come in and am greeted not by the smell of sizzling meat, but of human waste. I don't think your real name is Nunya B, Nunya B. That's also disgusting about the smell. I'm, I'm sorry that happened to you, Nunya. If that is your real name. This is another one right in the heart of Times Square, and I went on a Saturday night prime time right after the Broadway shows let out. So even with a two and a half star rating, this place was jammed packed. There was barely even anywhere to sit down. I got a pepperoni slice and a slice of chicken bacon ranch. The big issue that people seem to be having here is similar to the other Times Square locations. It's the price. They're charging six or seven dollars a slice, which is absurd, but I think that's a bad reason to leave a negative review. You can ask the price before you order and you're in the tourist center of the world. Shouldn't be too surprising. They got to pay rent. So maybe you're asking, why are you defending famous original rays? Because their pepperoni slice was actually pretty good. I'll go as far as to say I liked it. I would even almost recommend it. Okay, 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 let's not get crazy. There is much better pizza in New York. I would not recommend it. No, thank God. But if you are walking past it and you've gotta eat right now, you could do worse. You could do a lot worse. Sometimes I wonder if that kid who made quesadilla pizza in his kitchen went on to open his own pizzeria. Would I have kept making it in my own way, even if everyone else hated it? Even if I got one star reviews? Is that what's happening at iHeart Pizza? It kind of makes me feel bad for talking trash. Maybe the owner loves his pizza and is just trying to find other people in New York who share his weird taste. You know what? Did I love the pizza? Not in those exact words, but did I like it? Also, no. But the waitstaff was nice. They even replaced a table for me with a wobbly leg, and they have a mural on their back wall that you can look at whenever you want, for free. Is that better than good food? You decide.